It's my daughter's first job. I'm making her a scrapbook. <laughs> I think every day was one of those days. I really do because I think the personalities that the same personalities that made the show what it was were these incredible personalities off stage too and part of the excitement of it was I mean here you have John Goodman who's this amazing comedian more physical comedian and Roseanne who's more of a verbal wordsmith and to have the two of them kind of bouncing off each other was just really exciting and we would all just be laughing all day because they just it was almost like a, a friendly competition like who is gonna be the funniest you know and um, but this I'd say my favorite Roseanne story is um, I guess it was the late 80s or early 90s or whatever it was and um, kind of like these short haircuts were in. You know, it's kind of the rage to have a, a short, I don't know, not like Mia Farrow short, but a short haircut. And I really wanted to cut my hair. And so I met with the producers. I wanted to be cordial about it, so I met with the producers and I said, I'd like to do this, I'd like to get my hair cut. And they said, no, I don't think it's a good idea because I think that people like long hair and that you should have long hair on the show. And I was a teenager, so of course that pissed me off. And so I went back to them again and I said, you know what, I really wanna get my hair cut. This is important to me. And they said, you know, we're sorry, but we're not going to give you the okay for this. So it was a Friday night, and I'm in hair and makeup, and I'm kind of depressed about all of this. And Roseanne's in the chair next to me, and she goes, Lacey, what's wrong? And I said, oh, Roseanne, I've been dealing with these producers and they won't let me cut my hair and I'm a teenager, I wanna do it, you know? I wanna be me. And, and she said, well, here. And she grabs my hair and she grabs the scissors off the table and she cuts it like right under my head and she has this hair in her hands with the scissors and she goes, there, now what are they going to say about it? <laughs> What'd you do? And I was just horrified. I was horrified. I mean, in a way, I felt like justice was served because that's what I truly wanted. But the means, the savage means by which that happened was just so intense and, you know, the guy was there and he, and then I went downstairs and I said, I saw the producers, I said, ah, ask Roseanne about it. You know, so they threw in a line about, you know, Darlene says like nice stupid haircut or something like that, you know what I mean, but. Did you like the haircut? I did like the hair, well, you know, yeah, I did, I did. So you're, you're the only person on the show who say you were quaffed by Roseanne, then, I guess. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Wow. So, so there was no, there was no um, uh, uh, um, backlash against that. The, the star does it. There's nothing they can do about it. She made the executive decision on the spot. That's right. She was the queen, and the queen had the last word.